What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. Man, what did I tell y'all about these Disney shills, man? What did I tell you guys about these Disney shills? These dudes do not play around whatsoever, man. These cats are on the job. The moment they hear that Disney is in any sort of distress, it doesn't matter what property it is, Marvel, Star Wars, you name it, it doesn't matter. As soon as that, like, that, that rescue flare goes up in the sky, or maybe like it's the, uh, it's like a bat signal, like a shill signal. The shill signal is shining in the sky, and all the shills from miles around are like, hark, hark, there's a shill signal in the sky to the shill mobile, fellas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, they rush to their aid, man. They are on the job, and this guy right here, uh, this is a dude from, um, making Star Wars. Look, making Star Wars is like, the Disney shill site. That's like where you go if you want to hear something positive around Disney Star Wars. If you want to hear anything positive for Disney Star Wars, you go to makingstarwars.net, I think. And yeah, it's all over the place, man. They just slurping and loving every bit of Disney Star Wars over there, man. I don't understand it myself because I don't even know what they get out of it. I guess they get some like, I don't know, access to the to the backstage maybe every once in a while. They might get an interview with some like third director, you know, whatever. And then Kathleen Kennedy like shoots him a thank you card at the end of the year, you know, Merry Christmas or whatever. Like they don't really get anything out of it. The website ain't like it's booming and busting all over the place. Just a little re regular run of the mill website. But nevertheless, these guys come to Disney's aid, okay? Now is the time for all good shills to come to the aid of Disney. And that's what these guys do every single time, man. Check this tweet out. This thing is absolutely hilarious and copium on maximum, okay? On absolute max mode. All right, so here's what he got to say. A Charmino Bay Chinois spent years making documentaries about women having their faces burned with acid, honor killings, and the struggle for women to get a basic education. So her activism is bad and a threat to Star Wars. Now, where did anybody say that? Has anybody ever said that her activism is bad and her activism is a threat to Star Wars? Y'all see what I was saying? That these guys just come up with false narratives. They just come up with false stories, has nothing to do with the arguments people are actually making, and they don't actually want to address the arguments that are actually made. They just want to go ahead and just spit BS, okay? That's what they want to do. They just want to spit BS. Uh, don't we all agree burning faces bad, uh, basic ed is good? Again, not addressing anything that any Star Wars fans have said in regards to this chick coming in to direct the Ray movie. So here's his question. How does making documentaries about women being mistreated in the real world qualify her to make a film set in a fictional world and one that exists as a part of a giant entertainment franchise? Answer, it doesn't. It absolutely does not. And anybody that's trying to claim it is, is on some super high levels of copium and you're just shilling for Disney. That's it. That's all. OK, that's it. There's no other way to explain this. Disney, Disney is lining your pockets with tons and tons of mouse cheddar. And you're going to come out and try to make some kind of an argument for this chick. But look, this is the last part. This is the kicker. OK, and everybody's going to get a laugh at this one. A Star Wars 1977 was shot like a documentary. Now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh. Ready? Ready. <laughs> 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 Whew, man, I needed that. That was a good laugh for the night, man. That's that's gonna put me in a good mood for the rest of the day, man. <laughs> Uh, Old Bay Chinoy has made some of the best looking documentaries with the best shots capturing moments as they happen and great shots when they're expositional in nature. Now, obviously, you guys already know the drill. This cat is getting ratioed into oblivion. This thing is getting absolutely destroyed. Let's go ahead and laugh along with the rest of the crew. Uh, master of the TDS. The cope is strong with this one. It 100 percent is. Let's get that a heart. Uh, this is 100% incorrect. It was shot like a Hollywood film to the letter because Lucas was watched like a hawk because the studio thought it would fail. You're making up lies to fit with your premise. Exactly. Again, that's what they do. They make up lies. They make up false narratives because they want you to be the bad guy. So they create this fictional bad guy in their head that you are supposed to be. And then they try to plant their fictional bad guy on the stuff that you're saying. And you're like, I didn't say any of that crap. Boy, where did you see that? Read that back to me. What the hell are you talking about? You sound like an idiot, which he does. <laughs> you know, 
<laughs> this dude just said, yeah, Star Wars was shot like a documentary. That's the, the comment that I saw that just brought me to this whole thing, and I just started cracking up, man. Uh, the Office was shot as a documentary. Spinal Tap was shot like a documentary. Blair Witch and Cloverfield shot as found footage. Star Wars was shot as it was meant to be a space fantasy movie, 100%. And well, you're certainly getting high off your own supply, man. Talk about it, man. This cat is on some high levels of copium. Uh, did you watch it? Were there interviews on Alderaan? <laughs> Death Star interviews? Where was that? Respectfully, sir, can you elaborate? I've watched a few documentaries. They usually have narration and pictures. I don't understand. Brother K, nobody understands what this dude is talking about. I don't even think he understands what he's talking about. Uh, either you don't know what a documentary is or you don't actually know Star Wars. I say both, okay? I'm going to say both. I'm going to go with both of those. You got this comment from Ghost of Cade. The original Star Wars told a story that entertained people if the purpose of Obey Chinoy's film is to tout more fourth wave feminist ideals then the story has clearly become secondary to the message. That's exactly what's happening. These stories are now secondary to the message. The message is the most important thing. You see, what Hollywood has done, all of these woke activists and all of these woke directors and writers and everything in Hollywood, what they're doing is they're taking over all of these big major franchises, these big gigantic franchises that are known across the world that have fans across the world, whether it be Star Wars, Marvel, DC, whatever. They take these franchises over and then they use them as vehicles for their ideology, vehicles for their message, for their agenda. That's what this guy is saying. It's basically like, yeah, we're going to use this giant thing. We didn't create it. You know, we didn't create Marvel. We didn't create Star Wars. We didn't create uh, DC. We didn't create Star Trek. We didn't create any of these big major properties. But what we're going to do is we're going to co-opt these properties. We're going to take your IPs, your beloved franchises, and then we're going to stuff them full of our message. So that way our message gets out to more people across the world. That's basically what they're doing here, and that's why these properties are starting to fall off the side of a cliff. That, that's why people are checking out. And, you know, Charmaine Obey Chinoy, she may not understand this, okay? She may think that Star Wars is a big, huge property. It's not big like it used to be, Charmaine. I mean, you're right now stepping into a property that's at the bottom of the ocean, you know? So whereas you think, oh, I'm going to get my little feminist message around the world to billions of people. No, it's probably only going to hit a few hundred, <laughs> a few hundred thousand, and that's about it. OK, because nobody cares about this franchise and the ones that do care are definitely not coming to see this Ray movie after you get done with it because we know exactly what you are. So, yeah, that's the whole thing right there. All right. It's absolutely secondary to the message. Um, oh, my God. Are you all going to say anything to cope along with this? Aren't you? This movie is DOA and might do worse than the Marvels. Not even a might do. OK, will do worse than the Marvels. This thing is absolutely going to get crushed. Uh, please tell us that's your attempt at sarcasm. Either that or admit you've never seen a Star Wars movie. It could be both, okay? Again, now I don't think it's sarcasm. He means it 100%, okay? He is out here trying to say he's working overtime, all right? He's putting in overtime for the Disney shill money. You know, let me get out here and type up some more tweets, you know? He's putting in OT, you know, trying to get that mouse cheddar. That's basically what he's doing. Yeah, we all know this tweet. <laughs> yeah, man, this guy, this guy is absolutely insane, man. I can't believe that somebody actually would come out and try to spin it. That Star Wars was shot like a documentary. And that's why we had to go and get the, you know, Academy Award winning documentarian to make a Star Wars film. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes that's all you can do, man. Just get that Michael Scott laugh going. You know, I mean, I can almost hear this thing, man. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, Norbert. I don't mean like, good God almighty. I heard there was some serious cooking over here, so here I am. Yeah, ain't no cooking going on over here. Just some copium, man. It's hilarious. A Star Wars was shot like a documentary. Okay, dude. <laughs> it is like, um, are you stupid or something? I mean, you guys get the hint, man. This cat, this boy, man. It, it must be a rough world out there to be a shill. Because you know you just got to say some bullshit that just goes against every fiber in your being. But you got to say it, okay? If you want to keep that Disney access, if you want to keep getting them thank you letters from Kathleen Kennedy, oh, here's a thank you card and $50, you know, whatever they give them at the end of the year. If you want to get that crap, you got to keep shilling for Disney, you know? Just so you can get backstage to cover Star Wars, a dying franchise that nobody's caring about anymore because of clowns like the shill here, uh, this, this making Star Wars shill. 
This clown is out here. Oh my God. I, I, I am just beside myself with laughter. I can't believe this cat actually came out and said that with a straight face. And he kept the tweet up after about what? How long has this thing been up here anyway? He put this thing up on January the 7th and it's still here. I would have took this thing down so quick. Well, I, I never would have typed it up to begin with. But I guess, you know, Disney, like, I, I, I don't take it down. You know, so I guess you got to stand on your square if you a shill and you got to look like a moron for a whole couple of days. And hopefully this thing just filters into the night. But no, nah, that's that's making Star Wars, man. That's their get down. That's how they do it, man. Unbelievable. But you guys let me know what you think about this situation. Again, I just find it hilarious how these cats are going to bat. Trying to do everything in their power, okay? Everything in their power to shill for this company. It's unbelievable. You guys go ahead, jump down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions on that. And thanks for watching. See you next time.